So it's opening day of the 2018 MLB season between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Minnesota Twins. And the Twins are obviously at home at Target Field, and we need to go and take a 1-0 lead here in this season. Right here, we have Phil Hughes going to the mountain today, the Minnesota Twins. And due to the injury of Mad Bum, Marcus Stroman is stepping in and taking his place as a race this year, at least for when he's gone. But right now, opening the day of the 2018 season, and we need to go back to back this season. We won the World Series last year, obviously, in that great series against the Cubs. We need to go back to back, just like the Blue Jays in 92 and 93. Our starters today, we have the 5'8 Marcus Stroman, HDMH, 180 pounds, 26 years old, he's 4 years pro. We have the 6'5", 250 pound, 31 year old Phil Hughes who's played 11 years and then will be a very experienced starter. But our starting lineup, we have Gerard Dyson, Will Myers, Josh Donaldson, Edwin Encarnacion, newest Blue Jay Lucas Duda, and Byron Buxton in the 8th spot to start this season. So Byron Buxton, one of our best prospects, actually he is our best prospect in our entire organization. We're really looking forward to his future with the Toronto Blue Jays. We did end up trading Kevin Plar for him, but right now we have Gerard Dyson approaching the plate for the first at bat of the season. He's going to go and get luck at strike three called, and that's going to be the first strikeout of the season for Phil Hughes and our first strikeout of the season. But Will Myers up. He's going to ground out straight to the third baseman. He's going to go and ground out for the second out of the inning. So 2-0 in the inning for the first inning of our season. And we have Josh Donaldson, our big power hitter, in three spot. But Donaldson's going to pop up way up to the catcher. So unlucky as that one comes back to the catcher. And that's the end of the inning right there. So the Twins, a very good inning in the first, in the first top of the first inning. But their starting lineup, they have a very good starting lineup. Danny Santana and a whole bunch of the great hitters on this ball team. But Danny Santana up. But Danny Santana's going to drive this one in the gap in left center field. That one's going past Gerard Dyson. He's going to go rounding first. He's going to second. And that's going to be a stand-up double for Danny Santana to lead off the season, in fact. So Danny Santana... A double, that's not what you want to start off your season with Marcus Stroman. Marcus Stroman can influence a fly out straight to center field, but Danny Santana does not move on that one, so it stays at second. There's a man on second with one out here in this inning with Oswaldo Arcia. We need to stop him. But he's in a ground out right to our man Marcus Stroman. That's going to be the second out of this inning. But now we have Justin Bohr pushing the plate. They're DH this season. The board's going to pop way up to Russell Martin the same way Donaldson did, and that's going to end the inning right there. So we at least leave a man on third. And now we're approaching the top of the second inning with Edwin Encarnacion approaching. The former, or this last year's AL MVP. He's going to ground out straight to the shortstop. And that's going to be that first out of this inning. So Edwin, I, I'm actually looking forward to see how Edwin's season goes. Edwin, he's kind of declining right now. He's not, oh, well, he's like 35 years old. He's 83 overall. I don't really want to see how he plays this season. But another man who's actually kind of old but doing very well is Lucas Duda. Just grounded out for the second out of this inning. So Lucas Duda, another one of our pickups in this offseason. I'm really looking forward to his performance this year. Last year, Lucas Duda was in contention for AL MVP, at least for the first half of the season, but otherwise, he got replaced by Edwin, and Edwin won AL MVP. But right here, we have Tulo getting our first single of the season there. So Tulo drives the one right in the center field, and now we finally have a man at first base with two outs. But Colby Rass is going to drive this one into left field, and that's going to be another pop out to end the inning right there. So the Blue Jays ran a runner on first, and they're going into the bottom of the second inning with Brian Dozier approaching the plate. But Dozier's going to hit this one right at Lucas Duda for the first out of this inning. So Lucas Duda, a great defensive play right there, catching that one and saving a single. So one out here in the inning, nobody on. He's going to pop this one way up to our man Will Myers for the second out of this inning. So Will Myers, another one of our players. I'm really looking forward to seeing how he plays this year. He played pretty well last year. He's only He's got an A potential. He's only 25, I believe. So Will Myers, a lot of improvement to grow or room to improve. And I'll hope to see him maybe improve to maybe a 93 overall, 95 maybe. But right now, a man of first two outs here for Chase Headley. Headley's Hedley, going to ground out right to our man, Will Myers. And that's going to end that inning right there. So the Twins strand a Matt Runner on first. So Byron Buxton leading off the top of the third inning. And Buxton hit this one right past the first baseman, Joe Maurer. And that's his first single of his career at the Toronto Blue Jays. So our next top player of the team, Byron Buxton, his first single with his new club. And now we're hoping he does that a lot this season, as he's one of our top players in the outfield. But right here, Austin Barnes up, our new catcher, and he's going to strike out right on that pitch for the first out of the inning. But right there, Phil Hughes, he's having a pretty great day right now, only limiting maybe three hits on the day, maybe two hits, as he just struck out Austin Barnes on that slider for the first out of the inning. Now we have Will Myers up a 2 0 tier, a man on second, but Will Myers can hit this one right past the shortstop, and now we have Buxton rounding third. Is he going to go home and score his first run? Well, he's not. He's going to get cut down by the left fielder, and that's going to end the inning right there. So, Byron Buxton gets out at home plate, and with still a 0-0 score here going into the bottom of the third. But right here, we have Polanco up. Polanco's going to drive someone into left center field. That one's going back, but right there, 
our Buxton Bu Bu misses that one, and that's going to be an error. Buxton picking this one up, and he's rounding for second. He's going to go to third, and he will get a stand-up triple on that error. So Buxton missed that one completely. How do you miss that one? So I guess maybe the Sun had an old factor to do with that one, but Buxton... Come on, man. You gotta improve. But now, a runner on third. Zero outs in the sitting. They drive this one into right center field. That one's going back. You have Buxton back and Rasmus back. But Rasmus is gonna make the catch. And they're gonna run home. Can they score for the first run of this game? And they will easily. So now, there's 1-0 here in the sitting. They just scored the first run of the game. Making a 1-0 lead for Minnesota in the bottom of the third. 1-0. They drive this one into right field. That one's going back. And that one's demolished for the first home run of the season. So right there, the Twins get off to a 2-0 lead here in this game off that home run by Max Kepler and Marcus Stroman. I have the greatest start right here, as it's now a 2-0 lead here for Minnesota. But two it's here, and they get to drive some in the left center field. That's going to be another base hit for the Twins. So not a great inning for anybody here, as there's one out here, two outs. But they're going to round it right to Roman Donaldson. Donaldson makes a play at third to end that horrid inning right there. So we allowed two runs in the inning. And now the Twins take a 2 0 lead here in this game. But going to the top of the fourth inning, we have Josh Donaldson coming up with zero outs and nobody on, leading us off of this inning. We are hoping for a great year by Donaldson, maybe even another AL MVP campaign. But Raiders going to drive some right past the second baseman, and he gives up on that one as that's another single for the Blue Jays. So you finally get a man on here to lead off, in fact. So now we have a man on first with zero outs as Donaldson celebrating that one with Edwin Encarnacion approaching. He's hit this one right at the second baseman. The second baseman sprawls but misses that one. And now that's going to be another base hit for the Blue Jays with Lucas Duda coming up, our new big time hitter. He's a great power hitter with zero outs. But Lucas Duda's hit this one right at the third baseman. Still unfortunate, but that's another out for the Blue Jays. So it could have drove in maybe a run by Donaldson if that hit went the gap, but regardless, one out here, two men on. But Tulu is going to ground out right to the third baseman, and that's going to pull off the double play. So we end the inning right there after that double play. And now we're still losing 2 0 here going into the bottom of the fourth inning with Marcus Stroman still pitching. Right, they're going to hit this one right down center, and we have nobody there. Just going to be another base hit for the Twins. So the Twins, a great day offensively, getting hits like crazy against Stroman. But man on your zero outs. They round out straight to Will Mars. We're going to try and pull off the double play, and we will. A very close play at first, but we pull off the double play, and that's going to end that inning right there. So another great inning by the Blue Jays, at least defensively, as that fourth inning was our only bad inning of the game. We're going to gr ground out right to the first baseman. A very close play there, but regardless, another out for the Blue Jays. So, Buxton, very good effort there, but we need some base hits here in order to drive in runs. But right there, Colby Rest just misses that one completely. I guess it's human error, as they're going to go and reach for a double on that one. So, the controls in this game did not pick up that ball, and now there's a man on second for Carlos Santana. But Santana's going to drive this one in the left field, and that's going to drop for a single. And they're only going to reach third, so the man at third does not go home. And there's runners on the corners here with zero outs for the Minnesota Twins. They did this one right at Will Mars. We're going to try to pull off the double play, and we will off that fancy double play. But another run scores for the Twins. They begin a 3 0 lead here in the bottom of the fifth inning with two outs. But right here, Marcus Stroman finally strikes out his first bat of the day, and that's going to end that inning right there. So Marcus Stroman. Not the greatest of innings right there, allowing a double, but and another run scored. But we're still in this game. It grows, it's still 3-0, but we're still in this game with Gerard Dyson approaching the plate. But Gerard Dyson hits one in the left center field. That's finally going to drop for a single after the left fielder misses that dive. And now Gerard's heading for a double, and he will. So Gerard Dyson off that explosive speed, reaches for a double on that air, I guess you can call it, by the left fielder diving for that one when he could have easily maybe caught that. I don't really know. Probably could have ran in and caught that one, but... Another double by the Blue Jays, and we finally have a man scoring position for Will Myers. But Will Myers is going to dribble right to Phil Hughes for the first out of this innings. Now we have a man on third. We need to score this run by, by, uh, with Josh Donaldson approaching the plate. One for two in the day. But Donaldson going to strike out on that low pitch. That's going to be the second out of this inning. So he just blew our opportunity for a sacrifice fly with Edwin up. But Edwin's going to strike out on that cutter out of the zone. And that's going to end that inning right there. So we had strand a man on third base. We could have scored a run, but we did not. It's going into the bottom of the sixth inning, and they hit this one right past Lucas Duda for a leadoff single. So Lucas Duda, not the greatest effort right there, reaching for that ball. But another single by the Twins, and another man on with Marcus Stroman. The end of his day is here, as we're going to go and pull Marcus Stroman out of this game after 
Not too great of a start. He held us in check for most of the game, but and we need to come back from a 0-3 deficit with Fernando Salas coming on. A newest, one newest uh, Blue Jay on here. One of our newest relievers on the team. He's 6'2", 200 pounds, 32-year-old righty. We need. I want to actually see a great season out of him. He seemed pretty great last year, but first bat you see, he's gonna strike him out on that curveball for the first out of this thing. So straw first out by our man Fernando Salas. John Ryan Murphy coming up there, catcher one for two in the day. John Murphy's gonna drive this one in the left center field. That one's going back back and that one is gonna be gone a very close home run a 377 footer straight to left field now they're leading five nothing in this game as the very next batter Salas is gonna strike out headley to end that inning right there so another home run by the twins ever losing five nothing here as their offense just not doing anything there a straight go right there but too low he drives one in the left field that one's going back 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 and that one is gonna be gone so he finally score on this game as too blasts that one in left field and that's our first home run of the season and our first home run of this game. Now we're only losing by four runs. It's now a 5-1 to one game. So Tulo's first home run of the season, a 387 footer straight to left field. And now we're finally on the board here on this game. So right here we have our man Byron Buxton up. But he's going to strike out on that pitch to end that inning right there. So we're still losing 5-1 here going into the bottom of the seventh inning. And this strike out on that one by our man Salas, the first of this inning. Danny Santana is going to lay down a bunt. That one's so close to the line, but our man, Josh Donaldson, makes a perfect play at third base. And as our second out of this inning, so Donaldson, we, got a, we have him for our defense. That's the reason why we re-signed him, because of his leadership and defense. Brayer, Donaldson showing off one of his nice throws to end that inning right there. So Donaldson, a great defensive play, allowing us to save that single. So leading off this eighth inning, we have Austin Barnes up. He's going to round out straight to the second baseman for the first out of this inning. We have Draw Dyson up. But Gerard's going to hit this one high in the sky, and it's going to be another pop out for the second of this inning. So our offense not doing anything right now as we have Will Myers up. Will Myers strikes out on that early swing, and that one's going to end that inning right there. So we have a very bad inning right there. Three up, three down, and we're lo still losing here going to the bottom of the eighth inning with Oswaldo Garcia up. Garcia's going to drive this one in the right center field. That's going to drop right past our man Bucks. Garcia's rounding first. He's going to heading for second. Will he get a double? And he will. So another double allowed by the Blue Jays on the day. The Twins have a man in scoring position here for the 5-1 to one lead in this game. But right here they drive this one in the left field. They're going back. But Gerard Dyson makes the catch in left field. But now they're advancing for second. Will they get to third? And they obviously will. As Gerard Dyson just takes his time there. He could have maybe gunned it down to third base. But way too lazy on that play as they have a man on third with two outs. The ground out straight to Will Myers, and that's going to end that inning right there. So the Blue Jays allow a man on third, but we do not allow any more runs in this game, which is exactly what we need. So going into the top of the ninth inning with Josh Donaldson up. Donaldson going to strike out on that two-seam fastball. Now we have Edwin Encarnacion up. Edwin's going to drive this one in the left center field. He's going back, 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 and that one is going to be gone. So the Blue Jays homer in the top of the ninth inning. Now it's a 5-2 to two game. We're coming back here. As Edwin shows off his Edwin, and now it's a 5-2 game here. As Phil Hughes still in the ball game here, having a great day. But he allows another home run to the Blue Jays. And that's Edwin's first home run of the season, and his first of many. He hit tons of home runs last year. I think he led the American League in, league in uh, home runs last year. But a 419 footer straight to left center field, and now it's a 5-2 ball game. Edwin just home, just blasted that one into left center field. You knew there's a home run off that swing. He just has a kind of signature swing that you just know. It's going to be a home run or a fly or a ground out. Just has that in his arsenal. And that's going to go and take out Phil Hughes out of this ball game. So Phil Hughes, a great game by all means. He had a very good game. But we're going to go and kick him over the top of the ninth inning. And Casey Fien's coming in the righty with Lucas Duda up. But Lucas Duda's going to strike out on the two-seam fastball. And that's going to be the second out of this inning. So you have only one out here in this game with Troy Tulewitzki up. But Tulewitzki going to drive this one in the center field. That one's going back. And that's going to be smashed to center field. And that's a no-doubter home run by Troy Tulewitzki. His second home run of the day. Tulo are by far our best offensive player of the day so far. And now it's a 5-3 game. We're, up We're only down two runs here in the top of the ninth. He can make a comeback here. But Tulo, his second home run of the day. A 448-footer straight to center field. And you knew that one was gone. That, that swing is perfect. That's one of the reasons why I love playing like left Tulo in this game. Is just he just destroys baseballs. Gets a lot of good contact. He's a very good defensive player. But most of all, he's just one a just a very good leader on the team. But right now, we kick out Casey Fient, and now we're bringing in the closer Glenn Perkins to shut down Colby Rasmus. But Colby's gonna hit this one in the left field. That we're going back. Can this be another home run? And it's not. That's gonna be a flyout to end that ball game. 
So the Blue Jays lose this one 5-3, to three, a very close game. He almost made a comeback in the top of the ninth inning due to all those home runs by Edwin and Tulo, but he just did not have enough willpower to come back in the top of the ninth. But Philly used a very good grit day so far. He just had a very good day against the Blue Jays and shut it down our offense for at least the most of the game, not including the top of the ninth inning. We just destroyed him there. But Glenn Perkins gets a save as we finally lose a game. We, we actually we barely lost the playoffs last year, so I guess it's payback for that. But I guess I'll end this episode off right here, so make sure to like and subscribe for more Toronto Blue Friendship Mode. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.